Welcome back everyone, I'm LCLC and today we have an exclusive look at Hotel Havoc. Big thanks to Tiki the developer, I've been tuned into his streams nearly every day looking for footage so I can show you guys what Hotel Havoc is all about. And now we have this exclusive look at the Lemon Shop, aka the Big Shop. And I don't know if you just noticed there, it looks like there's some leaderboards, but we'll get back to that in a minute. So this is the Lemon Shop, why? Seven Lemons games that's the name of the company that is making this game and here is the loading screen this is what the loading screen will look like it's pretty cool it's got the hotel in the background two customers entering uh, we're going to speed this up so you don't have to watch the loading time and here we are so this is in alpha testing phase uh, this is cheeky running around here in this crazy pink avatar look at this staff management screen you've got hotel lobby staff janitor staff so just taking a closer look this actually looks much more advanced than my restaurant you've got in the hotel lobby section you've got receptionists which you can level up and there's a star rating you've also got chefs uh, so they'll be working in the kitchen stroke restaurant uh, and then you've got the janitors different janitors for different floors and different levels so it's much more advanced than the my restaurant staff screen so that's not the only screen there's this one and there's also this whelp screen which looks pretty cool it's like an in-game hotel review like you've got john doe saying add more beds in room 1a please and jake squid there saying i love the food but the wait was long so much more options much more customization anyway i think what we're going to do and do is have a look around uh, and see what's changed since my last video uh, we're going to head up on to what floor is this floor two and you can see uh, residents going in and out of rooms. That's working well. And the janitor, here comes the janitor. I think uh, the janitor has been fixed. Uh, so oh, we're gonna go deliver some food now. We're gonna pick up some food. We're gonna deliver a burger onto floor two. So we've teleported up to floor two and boom, delivered the burger to the resident. Now look at this. Look at the customization in here. Not only can you place items down in any direction you want, but also any angle you want. So this is much, much more advanced than my restaurant. The grid on the floor is crazy. So you usually walk in, you can pull up the grid, the mesh grid on the floor like that, and then you can place items absolutely anywhere you want and spin them around and rotate them in all sorts of directions. So it's going to be fully customizable. Not everybody's gonna have the same layouts. Well, at least I hope not everybody's gonna have the same layouts like we saw in my restaurant where you just saw ridiculous looking restaurants with money layouts. I hope that will not happen to this game as I do believe that is what ruined my restaurant. Layouts, money layouts, and serving the most customer layouts. Hopefully the developers have planned for that and that won't ruin this game. Now, this is the most important bit. We're gonna head outside we're going to walk outside and we're going to check out the new big shop. So I keep calling it the big shop. I'm trying not to refer to my restaurant as much as I can because this game is going to be epic. So much better. This is the seven lemon shop, the lemon shop. But out here, this is the fountain, which is, I imagine, where people will congregate uh, in a social way, which is what happened in my restaurant. Uh, people would hang out. And here, I do believe, on these boards that you can see below, circling around the fountain, these will be leaderboards of various types, I believe. Don't take my word for it, but yeah, I do believe these will be leaderboards. Now, look at this lemon shop. This looks absolutely awesome. It's huge. It's got lots of windows, lots of lighting, lots of light to come through the windows to make it bright, open, and airy. And here is all of the furniture, totally customizable. I hope, I do hope that people would design actual hotels and not just money layouts and so on customer layouts we'll see we'll have to wait and see how the mechanics of the game work but this looks absolutely awesome now look at the hotel in the distance there this is a, an overview of the map you can see you can probably fit i think uh cheeky the developer said it'll be about 10 restaurants on each server so there's one there's plenty of plots there um if i if i count them out one two three okay it's much easier to see from if we zoom out so one two three on the left another three on the right that's six and then there's two at the top seven eight and then nine and ten ten plots and this is the hotel this is the standard theme i believe there are also a luxurious theme hotel which is in the thumbnail on this video and of course the modern theme which was in the thumbnail of my previous video but this is the hotel this is this is actually only two floors i know it looks like four but the lobby actually takes up what looks like two floors so this is a two floor hotel however you can buy more floors see how deep and tall the uh, lobby is it's two floors deep from the outside so this is floor one 
this is floor two, but we can buy more floors. Now we're gonna pull out the menu and buy some more floors. We're floor three and floor four. I don't know if you can see, there's definitely a floor five, there's a six. It looks like there's a seven, eight, nine, and 10 if you look at the scroll depth on that scroll bar. So floors can be purchased with in-game money or Robux to speed things up. Remember, the Robux uh, helps support the developer. It's not pay to win, guys. These guys work day in, day out, night and day, every week on making these games. So obviously you can play them for free, but if you want to support the developer or if you want just cool stuff and you've got some Robux, then buy some stuff in game, guys. And uh, yeah, we're going to check out four, floor four. So look at the customization level on this room. Uh, Cheeky here, the developer, a big shout out to him, by the way. Uh, thanks for letting me uh, record this footage. Yeah, th this is his footage, by the way, not mine. Um, I've just recorded it. Now look at look at the angles. You can place that chair at any angle you want. I think Tiki's gonna go ahead and fill up this room with quite a lot of different furniture so you can see all the different types of items that you can purchase to fill up your hotel room. So we've got the usual stuff. We've got armchairs, we got chairs, we got a single bed, and there are plenty of other items in the store and you can see down below at the bottom there, Guys, help me out by smashing the thumbs up, subscribing to my channel with the bell notification. That way, Cheeky and Hotel Havoc will hopefully give me early access so I can show you more in-game footage. So let's get this video up to 100 likes if we can. And guys, if you want to see more Hotel Havoc footage, then comment down below to let me know. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.